Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Lou and welcome to Silver Style Studio. And as you probably noticed, I'm not in my studio today. This is my guest room. I've been looking around my house, exploring better lighting options. So I'm in the process of decorating this room and who knows when I'm finished, maybe I'll take you for a little tour. But for now, this is going to be my makeshift studio. I want to talk to you about my latest device in my skincare arsenal. This is an LED light therapy mask. It's from a company called Project Beauty. They're not sponsoring this video, but they did send me this light mask for me to try. And I've been using it for about the last six months. I don't think you need a ton of skincare devices because they all claim to do the same thing, which is boost blood flow, collagen, elastin, and all that good stuff that we need, but they just use different technology. And don't buy any skincare device if you're not going to use it. You have to put in the time and use them regularly if you want to see any kind of results. I've made other in-depth videos on the other skincare devices I have already, so I won't get too much in detail on those at the moment, but I do want to just quickly let you know the other things that I've been using for the last couple of years. I have the new face. I've been using this for about two and a half years. And I have the Myolift Mini from 7E Wellness. I've been using this for about two and a half years. So both of these devices work by using microcurrent. These devices help boost blood flow, collagen, elastin, but with the added bonus of firming up your muscles underneath the skin. And for me, that's a big plus. You may have seen me use this in a previous video. It's the BioEqua Ener Charger. When I first got this, I was quite skeptical. Um, and I kind of am always skeptical when I try these things. So I'm always happy when they have good results. This one, um, when you use it, it feels like having a wonderful oxygen facial and the technology helps the you know, serums and skincare penetrate your skin in a more efficient way. But we always want to see what else is out there, right? So let's talk about this LED light therapy mask. Um, these have been used for many years in medical settings. Of course, those machines are much more powerful than these, which is why you have to do these at-home devices on a regular basis. I think I'm at the stage in my life where I know all of these devices are not going to turn back the hands of time too much. But if there's medical science that backs up some of the manufacturer's claims, then I'm willing to give them a shot. My hope is that at least they slow down the aging of my skin. So let me go over this mask from Project Beauty. This is how it comes. There's the mask and then this part is actually for your neck. It comes with this little controller, which is on a wire connected to it. Um, let's turn it on. I'll show you how it works. Okay, we'll just let that dangle for a minute. Um, okay, the power button is right here. That turns on the lights. This makes them more intense, so you can change the intensity of the light. You see that's going down, that's going up to five. This actually changes the light. Now I've been using the red and I've been using the green. The red is to help fade wrinkles and fine lines. And the green is to fade brown spots or aging spots or for whatever lovely word you want to give those brown spots. So there we go. Just a note about how the mask fits and how you're supposed to wear it. Because when I received it, um, it came with these arms like you have with your glasses. So I supposed that you could wear it like this, but it's extremely heavy on your nose. It kind of drags down your face and it doesn't feel very nice at all. So what I started doing was, whoo, I just laid down with it because it's not like you can do 
chores with it on when i when i first received it i thought oh great i can just put this on and um i can sit at my computer or do some other tasks but um not so i did enjoy laying back with it on my bed and i actually put that little cotton ball right there in the nose area and that stopped it hurting my nose and after that we got along fine we became friends and uh, i was able to relax i was actually shopping for an led mask before project beauty sent me this one and some of them were very expensive and out of budget there were some soft ones there they look nice and cushy and comfortable they cover your face there's extra um pieces for your neck for your chest and even for your hands but just for the face mask and the neck mask alone you're talking over like eight hundred dollars which of course was way over my budget this one is very inexpensive it's about 220 dollars for the face mask and the neck piece and without the neck piece i think it's about 110 dollars so it's very budget friendly as these masks go. I know it seems like I have a lot of devices. I did collect them over time. I don't use them all at once. Sometimes I do use one after another. For instance, I will use microcurrent and then I will put the LED light therapy mask on just to relax. It feels really nice after any kind of facial. To really reduce these brown spots, I think I see laser treatments in my future. I'm not sure. I'm still on the fence about it. If I decide to go for that, I'll keep you posted and I'll let you know what I think. So my takeaway is that the LED mask is not my favorite device. I have all the other ones. I will continue to use it because like I said, I think it is making a subtle difference. I have been using it for about six months now, so I'll continue to use it because I actually find it really relaxing. If I had to have just one device, I would probably have one of my microcurrent devices, but I do think it's a nice device to add to what you already have. Let me know if you've tried an LED mask and what you think of it. Did you try a particular brand? Your comments are so helpful, not just to me, but to all the other viewers who are thinking of splurging on one of these devices. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.